could we soon be giving patients magic mushrooms to feel better? In recent years, psychedelics have entered the mainstream with what feels like everyone talking about them. Boom, your soul goes here and your body goes here. But there's also been some exciting medical research coming out to suggest they could help with treating a bunch of different mental illnesses. Magic mushrooms is helpful to patients suffering from depression, PTSD and addiction. But is any of this actually true? Well, psychedelics like psilocybin, aka magic mushrooms, are hallucinogenic drugs that make you see strange patterns and colors. You probably know about the tripping out part, but researchers have also found they stimulate new brain connections, which matters because with conditions like depression, the brain gets stuck in a negative, destructive loop of thinking. Psychedelics may help people break free, especially when paired with therapy. But I've been skeptical and wondering whether all of this hype over exceeds the science. And to answer this, I spoke with one of the top researchers in the US, Dr. Joshua Woolley. One of the main issues is blinding or masking. In clinical trials, patients get split into two groups. One gets the treatment and one gets a placebo, a fake pill. No one knows who got what. And that's how you test if the drug actually works. This prevents people's ideas about what should happen from influencing the outcomes. But the problem in psychedelic research is you can't control for this because it's pretty obvious to tell if someone's tripping out or not. That was what one of the major things the FDA was like, we can't tell if it works, we have no idea. I created a full documentary unpacking all of this, which you can watch down below and follow if you're curious about whether the health claims you see online are actually true.